Hey, Savvy Girls. Hope you all are having a great evening. So tonight we are talking about mascara. Why do I have Coco here? My cute little doggy. Because I don't know if you can see his eyelashes. Look at his eyelashes. I just had to show you guys. If we all had lashes like this, we wouldn't need mascara, you know? <laughs> yeah, I've actually had people ask me if I have put eyelash extensions on him. And I'm like, first of all, this kind of animal cruelty. And second of all, I don't even put them on myself. So I'm sort of not going to put them on my dog. Anyway, I just had to show you that. Um, I've always wanted to put mascara on just to see what they would look like. He's kind of scruffed up right now, so you can't see as well. When he's, when he's real trim, then you can see. He's my little cutie. Anyway, he's like, okay, enough of that. So tonight we are talking about mascara. And, um, you know, in the group, if you're not in our in my uh, my group, Savvy, Savvy Girls Organic World, um, jo the link is up on top. Join it. It's, you know, we talk about all kinds of great things. We've had a few posts where people recommend um, mascaras and lipsticks and all kinds of things. We Everybody's always recommending, you know, great um great products and stuff and I pop in there and ask answer questions and a big question that's come up a lot is what is a great natural truly natural mascara to use that actually works I personally love really great lashes I like that va va voom look I like length and and volume um, you know mascara was one of the things that I that I transitioned one of the last things I transitioned because I could not find a good natural mascara for so long. I used to love uh, it's CoverGirl Lash Lash Exact, I think it was, because it just gave me the long, oh, great lashes. Then I found one that I loved, and it actually had ingredients that kind of enhanced and, and helped the growth a little bit. But then they changed the formulation, and I did not like it anymore. So I'll talk about that too. But before I get into the mascaras that I love, I also wanted to talk to you about um, some things I found that naturally enhance the growth and, and fullness of your lashes. So I found some good things. Now there's, I'm sure you've heard of Latisse and some of those other things, um, or dyeing the lashes, very dangerous for your eyes. I highly recommend against that. You know, Latisse, there've been a lot of studies the findings that people, their eye color have changed. Um, there's even been some sighting, um, some incidents of blindness. I don't know, totally not worth it. Now there are some really clean and natural versions of Latisse. One is Vega Lash and another one is Plume that I've heard great things about. I have not tried either one, um, but those are two I've, I've heard great things about. Now the two natural things that I have tried are, um, this is, from Jane Aridell. It's like a primer, but it also does enhance the lash. It's supposed to enhance the growth and um, volume of your lashes. And I've been using it. Now, I'm not sure, I've noticed a little bit of improvement, but I'm not sure if it's, I've used a few things. I've also used, and you might've heard great things about castor oil. I just use this, it's from Sky Organics. Castor oil is supposed to be a great lash enhancer. I mean, you'll go on YouTube, you can find tons of, you know, YouTube um, vloggers talking about how great castor oil is and how it's really enhanced their lashes. I've been using it, I was, first, probably four months. I was kind of on and off. I've been pretty good about it for at least maybe almost two months. And one thing I did notice, now I have, you know, full disclosure, I don't have sparse short lashes. I have pretty decent lashes when there's nothing on them. I mean, for, you know, for nothing having on, for having nothing on them, but I do need mascara. I mean, I, I definitely, you know, if I want that look, I do need mascara. It's not like, oh, I just don't need anything, but, but I do have lashes. So, you know, if you have super sparse or super short lashes, you're going to, you know, have a different experience with these mascaras than I am. So I just want to put that out there. Um, I have some pictures. I hope I can figure it. I thought you could screen share. And now that I'm going live, I don't see where I can screen share because I took some pictures of my lashes. You know, I could, I could put them in the comments, actually, of my lashes, you know, with nothing on, no makeup at all. And then I also took a few pictures of a few of the mascaras that I tried. Um, so you can see the difference. And so what I, what I have found that I definitely noticed is all of a sudden, now, I would, my lashes were kind of straight, you know, like I, I used to curl them, but then I found great, great mascara. I don't even need to curl them anymore. But what I did notice, and I just noticed this in the last like month or so after using the castor oil and the Jane Aridell lash enhancer, I would look in the mirror 
with no mascara on or anything and my lashes would naturally curl up a little bit so I'm thinking they must be maybe a tad bit longer or fuller or something it's not like oh my gosh I don't need mascara they're amazing but definitely an improvement I'm gonna keep using it and we'll you know we'll see what happens in a few months so with that that's all I tried as far as the natural you know enhancers so let's move on to the mascaras okay what I the mascara that I loved and used for a few years and it was fantastic but they changed the formulation and it, I was so bummed because then I had to totally start my my hunt um, it's Pure Haven Essentials okay now this new formula I'm not, it's not bad I don't dislike it I just don't like it as much I find that it's it it doesn't give that kind of va va boom, and it's a little bit on the wet side. The tube actually works better after like it's been open for a month or so. But then you know you're only supposed to use mascara for what do they say like three months or so, you know. So this is a good, it's a decent everyday mascara, but it's not going to give the you know the lush long. I like those long spidery lashes. So that's my review on this. I can't hugely recommend it, but it is completely clean. Um, and it's decent, and it's a really good gloss. It gives a good glossiness. It's not clumpy. It doesn't flake. So in that respect, it is very good, but it's not. So it's a good, like, every day if you're just running around errands, but it's not like blah, blah, blah. Now, one mascara that I tried because I'd heard such great things about it and I saw this girl, I took my boys to like Jersey Mike's eat and she just had the most amazing lashes I had to ask her. Now, of course it wasn't natural, but I still wanted to try it because I thought I'm gonna try a toxic one against all these naturals and see how it compares. The, um, it's by a benefit, better than sex. It's not better than sex. I mean, you have to be pretty good to be better than sex. But it is fantastic, I have to say. It's got a really good brush. It's, it's, you know, it doesn't need a lot of coats. It definitely gives the fullness and the length, I have to admit. I, I didn't want to love it because it's toxic, but it is great. However, it has that, you know, toxic mascara has that icky smell, and it's kind of heavy, so I did not like that aspect of it. But it does give, you know, the va va -voom. Now, I don't like to use toxic products, but I wanted to just try all the natural ones against, you know, a toxic one. So that is that. Yes, it's good, but it has an icky smell, and it has that heaviness. Um, so, which brings me to, I'm kind of doing these in no, no certain order. One that I'd heard good things about, again, one, you know, everybody's experience with every these mascaras is different. But I've heard good things about this one, but I did not like it, and that's Hint Beauty. Now I've tried some of their other products that I have liked, but the mascara, I did not like. I found it to be very dry. It has a good wand. It's kind of bent, actually. Actually, it bent. I forgot about that. But it, it just was dry from the get-go. I didn't love it. It did not have a glossiness. It was a tad bit clumpy. It just was very drying and didn't give any length or lusciousness. It was not, it was not my favorite. Okay, another one I did not love. I tried two from, from Beauty Counter. They have a lengthening one and a volumizing one. I prefer length. I feel I like that better, and I feel like length gives you volume. So I thought, oh, I like their lengthening one, but I didn't. Um, here's, I don't know if you can see the, um, I'm trying to like put this in a good, oh, here. The brush is like, you know, it's kind of skinny. I didn't love the brush. And it just didn't do much for me. And also, it kind of irritated my eyes a little bit, which I'm surprised. It's a pretty clean line. There's, you know, they're not 100% pure or anything, but they, you know, they, they're, they're, they're fairly clean. I would put them on the clean category. Um, they use some safe that's synthetics, but, um, but they're very clean. Now, then I tried their volumizing. This one I did like a lot. Now here's the difference. Here's the brush. The brush looks a lot like the brush from Better Than Sex, the toxic stuff. And 
I was surprised this actually gave me the link that I wanted. So I do like this one a lot. I highly recommend this one. I think it's great. Um, another one that I like a lot, and I love this line in general, is 100% pure. This has a nice, it also has a nice wand, and it gives, you know, great length, great volume, um, glossiness. They're all, they're all, all black. I don't use brown mascara. It's pointless. I like black mascara. And um, I have to say I like the beauty counter better than this, which I was surprised about, but this one is good. Now, I haven't used this one as much because I just started using it. I kind of like about a week or so ago, I thought, oh, I want to try this one so I can I can talk about it in the video. So, you know, with these others, I use them a lot so I can give a better review. Um, like the beauty counter I used a lot. I used the, I used the hint. I mean, I used, you know, I used them a, quite a bit so I could really test. Okay, another one that I love, love, love is the Jane Iredell mascara. Um... It has a different wand. You see, it's kind of like, it's like a little curve to it. And, but it is a good wand. This mascara gave really good volume, really great length, and great glossiness, and no clumping, no flaking. Now, the ones I like, no clump. In fact, none of them, I don't think any of them really clumped or flaked. And that's what I will say. They're, they're all pretty decent mascaras in that respect. Um, because I will not tolerate any clumping, flake, flaking. There's no point. So this one is fantastic. I highly, highly recommend the Jane Iredell. And another one that I loved, that I actually was surprised that I liked it, is um, Organic Wear. It's this cute pink tube. I like it. Um, this one. Now, this one I, I tried months ago. It was one of the first ones I tried. But I loved it. Now, I did not like... The, the wand, the brush. It doesn't look bad, but it, I didn't like the way it um, it went on. So I tried a little trick. I, I bought these, just these little wands on Amazon. They're like six bucks and you get you know, a whole stack of them. What I did, well, I actually bought these to put the castor oil on because you can, you can dip these in and kind of go like this. What I ended up using, doing is just putting castor oil with my fingers. Um, I should probably tell you what I do with that. I just put a little on my fingers. I put it on the lash line and kind of like rub against, you know, up against the lash and lower too. And I also have been putting them on my, on my um, eyebrows because right here, I mean, my eyebrows are pretty decent right here. I feel like they're thinning, which drives me nuts. So I'm hoping it'll help that. And I notice a little bit of improvement, not, not much. I'm hoping in a few months I'll, I'll notice more improvement. But anyway, back to this wand. It's fantastic. What, it was kind of a pain, but I just kind of dipped this wand in. Then this mascara was phenomenal. In fact, I got another tube. I got another tube of a few of these. We're going to try it again. I'll do, and I also, there's other mascaras that I didn't try because I thought I got to stop at some point. In a few months, I'll do another one. I'm going to test a few others that I've heard are fantastic and clean. But I think that is all the mascaras that I tried. Um... So if I had to pick a favorite favorite, it's hard to say. You know, it's probably a toss up. It's really a toss up between um, the Beauty Counter Volumizing, the Jane Iredell, and the Organic Wear. I really liked all of these. I Like I said, I def definitely like the 100% Pure, but I like these others better. And the Beauty Counter Lengthening, not so hot so, and the Hint Beauty one, not great, and the Pure Haven Essentials, good mascara, but not that va va view, view, you know, that, that beautiful volume and length. So I think that pretty much wraps it up. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to let you know. So if you have any questions, pop them in the comments, definitely. And also, I would love to know what mascara have you been using that you like that's clean? What have you tried? Um, and let's you know, let's share and, and, and because what, maybe something you're using, somebody else might like better than, you know, one of these. Um, I'm going to, I can't, I guess I can't screen share. What I'll do is I'll pop, and I'm also going to pop links in the, co in the, in the comments of all of, you know, for all of these, so you can try what you like. And, um, and also I will pop a link to, I have a list of clean lines that I, 
you know, have researched and vetted and love, and that's on my on my website. So I have that, and I can put that link in there too. I have links to all of this stuff and other good products too. So, um, you know, we're all looking for a great mascara. So if you would please share this video and like it and leave a comment and um, let me know a what mascara you like and also what mascaras you want me to try if you've heard of any that you know you think are good and um i think that pretty much wraps it up oh the other thing i want to tell you another great great little tool is a little mascara comb i like this one because it has the comb on one side and it has this little brush on the other side this one's actually for for i guess the brows but i kind of like the, the brush too the comb really separates and um and sometimes I like the little brushy part to just kind of fluff them up a little bit. I, I like it. It gives a little extra touch. All right, so I'm going to sign off for now, and um, I will put links to everything in the, in, the, uh, in the description. And also, please, um, you know, leave comments and leave questions because, you know, of other products you want me to try and other products you want me to, to review. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this kind of on a regular basis. Um, I, I, I have tried tons of really clean, great shampoo that I love, um, that I've noticed a big difference. I mean, it's made my hair healthier and longer. I mean, my hair is the longest, the longest it's ever been. And no, they're not extensions. So I, I want to share all my, um, the great shampoos I've been using and conditioners and hair care. So I'm going to do that. Lip glosses. I just kind of want to do this on a regular basis to kind of cover instead of only telling you about, you know, one or two products to tell you about several that I can kind of compare. So um, I hope you guys have a great night and I will see you next week and also leave any kind of questions you want me to answer because I'm going to do another uh, live Q&A coming up in a, a couple of weeks too. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and comment and share. And um, I'll also put a link to my toxins to avoid list because that's a really good one. It has my top toxins. If you you know want to go clean and green, avoid these toxins and you'll be well on your way. So I'll put a link to that too. All right. Thanks so much.